Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks that you can use to reduce the CPU usage of your web hosting account and optimize your WordPress performance and resources. If you are using so many and unwanted plugins on your WordPress website, then please take your time to decide which plugins are useless and deactivate them and remove those plugins because using so many unwanted plugins will waste the resource of your website. The best WordPress plugins that optimize your website performance and resources. If you are using WooCommerce in your website and your website is mainly based on selling products and offering services, then you don't mostly need emojis, gravitas, embedded and similar features. There is a plugin available where you can manage all those features, allowing you to disable them and optimize your website speed. If you don't know what you are disabling, then I recommend don't randomly disable things that you don't understand. That can cause problems in your website designs or mess with the other plugins that you already have installed in your WordPress. If you ever encounter any problems, make sure to enable it back those features from that same plugin where you have disabled them. This plugin is best for WooCommerce since most of the shopping sites have to upload a lot of image files for decoration and to showcase their products on their website. That will take a lot of file size, so loading speed will be deficient. This plugin has the feature to optimize all those image files and make your website even faster. There is another most popular plugin, WordPress Optimize. This plugin has almost everything you need to optimize your website all in one place, such as cleaning trash files from database, compressing image files, and it even allows you to catch your website pages. But remember, you can exclude some pages from catching, such as payment pages, so the transaction can be smooth and it won't cause any problems. It has another unique tool, Minify, that allows you to simplify CSS and JavaScript files as well. So the file size will be smaller and that can boost the page loading speed. You have to configure the plugin according to your need. Just play with those options until you find your perfect settings. You don't need to worry about breaking stuff because if you encounter any problem, you can simply always disable those options that will instantly fix your problems. That's why using plugin is the safest way you can do stuff and experiment with them. Although being cautious is never a bad thing, always take back up everything and keep it in a safe place. The last tip I can give you is please use Cloudflare. That will reduce the resource stress that your viewers give to your server, well as it reduces the bad bot visits and hacker attacks. If you are still getting higher CPU usage, then I recommend you to upgrade your web hosting plan because your website needs more resource right now. It mostly happens when your website gaining popularity and more people are visiting your website more often. So it always better to have an upgraded and more resourceful server. Please contact your web hosting company for more details. I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and if you find this helpful, then please subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.